Hey there and welcome to another video. My name is Hugh and I've had a few questions about how to backtest a Forex hedging trading strategy. So I'm going to go into that in this video and you'll get all of the in-depth information on how to do this and how to succeed when a lot of people fail. All right, so before I get into the actual backtesting part, there's a very important piece that I have to give you and this will determine your success or failure in trading, period. So this is very important, so pay attention. I'm gonna have a complete video on this uh, coming up a little bit later. I've recorded it already and it's gonna be published, but um, this is just an excerpt of that. And this brings home the point of why it's important to backtest uh, Forex hedging and how to do it. Okay, so there are basically only two types of trading strategies, period. Um, no matter what anybody says, there are only two types. And the first type is a mechanical trading strategy. And a mechanical strategy is what most traders are looking for in the beginning. They just want it so that you put in a bunch of rules and you get some money out, right? And in reality, that's, you know, it's, it's, it can work, obviously, that works, people do it. Uh, but it has to be able to be 100% programmed into a computer. So that, that's all there is to mechanical trading strategy. Um, if anybody says that they have a 100% rules-based trading strategy, nine times out of 10 when you look at it, it's actually a discretionary strategy. Which brings me to the next point, which is um, a discretionary strategy. So a discretionary strategy is any strategy that cannot be programmed to a computer and requires the input of the trader. So you need to have some judgment and skill. And that's totally what I'm going to be talking about here in um, backtesting a Forex hedging strategy. Uh, this is all about developing a skill. This is not about a magic formula that's going to make you rich overnight. There is no formula in hedging, in my opinion. Um, I've only seen one case where it could, hedging could potentially be automated, but I haven't seen ev any evidence that has actually worked. But from what I've seen, uh, if hedging is done in a discretionary manner, then it can work if you have the skill. If you see anything or any video or any education or anything that anybody's talking about online that has to do anything with support and resistance, chart patterns, candlestick patterns, fundamental news and analysis, and any type of relative value comparison, that is a discretionary trading strategy, period. So you cannot treat it like a mechanical trading strategy where you just put in a few inputs and you'll get a reliable output. And even then, mechanical trading strategies might not be that reliable, right? So. Uh, that's a very important thing to understand when looking at how to backtest a uh, forex hedging trading strategy. So now let's jump over to the charts and I'll show you how to get started. All right, in order to backtest, you're going to need some software. So you can use both free and paid options. Obviously, the benefit of the free options are that they're free. Uh, the downside is that it's going to take more time for you to backtest. The paid options will speed up the process immensely, but then you do have to pay out a little bit of money. Luckily, these softwares usually aren't very expensive. So if you want to go the free route, there's something like MetaTrader 4, MetaTrader 5, uh, there's Trader's Gym, and you can use probably any charting platform along with a spreadsheet in order to start backtesting. I have some videos on my channel about that, so check out the playlist on backtesting. Uh, if you want to go the paid route, which will save you some time, there are things like Soft4FX, uh, there's Forex Tester, uh, and there's Naked Markets, which I, I which I prefer. Um, but choose whatever works for you. And um, if you're doing just simple support and resistance, in reality, any software will do. Um, the only time that you would need a better software, a fancier software, is if you want to get into some semi-automation or automation. Uh, and you want to really speed up the process of um, analyzing your trades. So uh, this is Naked Markets. I'm going to, first of all, download all of the data. So this is going to be different in different software. But for this uh, example, I'm going to do the New Zealand US dollar. I'm going to update the data. Oh, I guess I updated this last night. So it's up to date. Okay, so I can't get any more up to date than that. So I'm just going to close this up. And the good thing about Naked Markets is they provide free data. Uh, free updated data. You don't have to subscribe to a service or anything. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to re I'm going to start a new back test, and um, I'm just going to start with the initial deposits. You can set that to whatever you want. If you want it to be more realistic to what you're going to be trading, then set this deposit amount to your initial balance, a thousand, ten thousand, whatever it's going to be, right? Okay. So next, then I'm going to select my market. Let's see. Is in New Zealand, US. Okay, right there. All right. And uh, if your software has this feature, I think this is very useful. It's called forward test only. And that 
uh, doesn't allow you to go back on the chart. And that makes you a little more conscious of what you're doing because you have to deliberately examine every candle and then um, move forward appropriately um, because you can't go back, right? So I think that's useful to do uh, when backtesting hedging or practicing hedging, probably more accurately. So I'll do finish and then it'll load the data and now I'm ready to go. Okay, so from here, you're gonna need some sort of a uh, a strategy. I, I call it a strategy loosely. It's, it's more of a framework of how you're gonna enter and exit trades. So you could use an existing trading strategy that you have, let's say a uh, moving average crossover, or you had some sort of Ichimoku strategy, or maybe Bollinger Bands, whatever you wanna use. Now, if you are using an existing strategy that already has a set of rules and some indicators or something like that, I believe that hedging can be a great way to get out of uh, the losses that would have originally come with that strategy. And you could get out at a smaller loss or potentially make a profit off of those trades that would have been losers. So I believe that's a great way to use an existing strategy and just layer hedging into that. Or you can use hedging by itself and just do something like simple support and resistance like I do. So in my opinion, the goal here is to simply keep taking trades until a point where you reach the end of the data set or you lose all your money and you blow the account out. And that will give you a ton of practice and a ton of feedback on how you could do it better. And then start all over again and then just run through the data again. That repetition will help you understand what works, what doesn't, and you'll be able to figure out your own optimizations in real time. So simply just move the chart forward and uh, it can move a little fast. So if your software has like an autoplay, then you can dial back the speed a little bit. So maybe to there and see what happens. Okay, so that might be a little bit too slow. So let's move it one tick forward. That's a good speed. So what you're gonna do obviously is look for places to take trades um, and then just enter trades. So from here you go sell maybe. I mean, that's not a great level, but this is just an example and then um, okay, so that ended up working out. So I'm going to close that out. And then uh, let's see, could be a good buy there. All right. Oh, not a good buy. Uh, let's see, it's bouncing off that level. Might be a good place to sell there. All right, okay, so sell, 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 going down. Okay, so maybe close that out and then maybe put a buy in there. Okay. All right, and just go through your strategy and figure out what's the best way for you to hedge. I would also recommend watching a bunch of hedging videos. I have a playlist on hedging and some backtesting that I did with hedging. And then just experiment with some of the ideas. It's gonna be all about what works for you. Uh, again, there is no formula to this. There's no magic formula. People are expecting a step-by-step -step on how to make money hedging. And it's just a matter of uh, trying these different strategies that myself or other people are teaching and uh, figuring out what works for you. And again, run through the data as far as possible. And if you don't have a great result, um, just go back to the beginning, start all over. Uh, you can just do a restart back test, like I mentioned. File, and then hit restart and then you can go back to the beginning and start doing it all over again. All right, so that's how you backtest a Forex hedging strategy. I guess this is more like practice instead of like backtesting, but it is backtesting because you're testing your method of exiting and entering the market uh, with hedging. And if you practice this enough, you should start to get good at it. Where a lot of people fail is they get frustrated and they just give up right from the beginning. And you know, maybe if they've only gone through half a month of uh, data and they're like, oh, this doesn't work, right? No, this is a skill. It's like shooting a basketball. It's like shooting a soccer ball. It's like driving a race car. You need to build the skill and you need to go over and over again in order to uh, develop that skill. All right, so if you like this video, be sure to watch my other hedging videos. I also have some backtesting videos that I show some backtesting results on my hedging strategy. Uh, so be sure to take a look at that. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe and hit the bell if you wanna get more videos like this. And thanks for watching.